Uh, they're off. The Group 3 MBNA Chester Vars Calore down on the inner. A little sluggish in getting away in a dark green jacket. And Donegar O'Brien drops a Dragonette in the dark blue out in last position as the nose banded dashing Willoughby leads them through the uh, first furlong. Arthur Kitt out wide, just taking a while to track over. And Ryan Moore trying to get Norway in in the purple and white, and now does so. Drops in behind Technician, the Grey and King Ottaker, and now races alongside a Kalor. And at the back of the field, a Sir Dragonet at this stage is three or four lengths detached as they head towards the end of the third furlong. So dashing Willoughby at a fairly leisurely tempo, leading them down the straight the first time to Arthur Kitt on the near side of Technician. King Ottaker in the Mauve Silks in fourth, ahead of Kalor. Uh, Norway, uh, last but one, about five lengths off the leader as they slide under the judge, and now two lengths only to Sir Dragonet. Circuit the Rudy ahead of them then, on inside the last mile they go, and up the viaduct side of the track. Dashing Willoughby being allowed to dictate here. Arthur Kitt is just a length away in second. Technician just taking a little bit of coaxing along as they run up the side. Frankie crouching lower, squeezing him along just to get him up onto the hills, the leading pair. King Ottaker in the Mauve Silks is close up in fourth, passing halfway. From Kalur, the white-faced Norway and Sir Dragonet still remains uh, slightly adrift. Right over the far side they go then, on down to the five marker. Dashing Willoughby and Asheen Murphy, leading the MBNA Chester Vars field. Arthur Kitt is still second, the grey technician again being squeezed by Frankie. But he remains close up in third. King Ottaker fourth, Kalur up the rail under a drive. Norway purple silks waiting in the wings in the hands of Ryan Moore and stable Nate as a dragonet at the tail. They've gone past the half mile, heading on now towards the last three and a half furlongs. Dashing Willoughby, winding up the tempo. Arthur Kitt shaken along in second. King Ottaker has got a wide trip, but he's beginning to improve. Frankie working harder on technician. Now more shaking up Norway. In behind the Dragonette in the dark blue, making progress. Kalor's last. Dashing Willoughby is kicking on as they round the corner. Skips a length and a half clear, but here comes King Ottaker now delivering his challenge, and he's followed through by Sir Dragonette, who's looking threatening. Down the straight, they come a furlong and a half to go. Dashing Willoughby. Here's Sir Dragonette, though, over the top, storming into the lead, and moving inside the furlong. Sir Dragonette begins to open up from Dashing Willoughby. Norway is staying on, moving on into second, but surely it's vain pursuit because Sir Dragonet is away and gone, and it's a ninth chest of ours for Aidan O'Brien. Sir Dragonet, a class apart, beats his stablemate Norway into second, dashing Willoughby in third, then King Ottaker, technician Arthur Kitt and Kalor. Freddie, I've just said, put it there. Well done, son. Nice, thank you, thank you. nice, nice, nice. You did say Sir Dragonet won with any amount in hand and was unexposed. And goodness me, we hope to see something similar to what we saw in the, the Phillies race. And I think we have, haven't we? I think we have. I think uh, I think the lads will have to supplement him now for the derby. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? I mean, earlier on when we were watching this, he was so relaxed and he was almost detached from the main field. And I said, would you be worried? And you said, well, let's see what he can do. And that's what he can do. Yes, obviously. Obviously, he was very relaxed, and Donica gave him the time of the day to find his rhythm around here. He's a big horse with a massive stride, goes very well on this ground, and um, as you can see, he obviously has a turn of foot as well. So this fella now, he's probably the real deal. Yeah, he looks like the real deal, Jamie. Yeah, this is spectacular, and we have to put it in context. 14 days ago, this horse hadn't even set foot on a racetrack. 13 days ago, he made a really sparkling debut, and then this, so soon in his career, this is phenomenal. So we are looking at a horse who is now surely the favourite for the derby. Well, I'm already getting quotes thrust into my hands for the derby, obviously with the, the little proviso that he needs to be supplemented, but he wins here at 13 to 2. And this is a race, don't forget, that's thrown up some incredible winners in the past, including Ruler of the World in 2013, and we know what he did after that, Sir Dragonet wins the big race here, the Chester Vars.